I'm Bryant Chambers. I'm from the University of Texas at Austin. I work on nanoparticle-related projects and antibiotic resistance. I heard about Clubus de Ciencias uh, from a friend of mine who works at the University of Texas, who's connected to Harvard, and they sent out an email and I thought this would be a great way to go see Mexico. This would be a great way to get out there and spread some news about science. My Clubus de Ciencias is about metabolics. Really, that's the central part of it. As a microbiologist, I'm interested in how metabolics relate to many other processes. Really, it's a central point in uh, in a conversation about how to use biotechnology to improve the world because they have a very wide range of metabolic pathways that we can use to improve the world around us. We've been doing that for many years, or millennia really, making beer, uh, making cheese, and now we're using it to make energy. So to do that we're going through, first off, introducing the students to general uh, microbiology. What is a bacteria? What is a micro microorganism? And, and how do we classify and study them? Over this week, we will study things such as biofuel manufacturing, uh, where we're gonna go tour Simvesta and see a microbial biofuel, well, actually a microalgae biofuel reactor in progress working to isolate our microbial biofuel. In addition to that, we're going to build a microbial fuel cell, which uh, using just simple baking yeast that you use to make bread, uh, we will make a small fuel cell that can power about a calculator. It's a very low energy yield, but it teaches the students the principles of uh, both energy, batteries, and electrochemistry, as well as micro microbial metabolics in a way that shows them how you can use it to advance technology. I've been incredibly impressed with the students since coming here. It's it's amazing how much they know. I, I have, I've worked with many kids through several microbiome classes that I've taught in the United States, and these kids are phenomenal. They're above many of the students I've interacted with, the majority of the students that I've interacted with there. And it's been almost a challenge to keep up with them because you come down with a certain idea of what you want to teach, and all of a sudden you find out, no, they're way beyond that mark, and, and so I'm having to run to keep up with them, and that's really great to see. Clueless Day Sciences has been a really great program to work with. I've been enthralled with both coming to Mexico, getting to see a beautiful city like Guanajuato, um, but really it's fun to meet these kids and talk to them about where they want to go with science and what they want to do with science. And it's just been fun. It's fun to come and talk about science. I mean, I'm learning things all the time while I'm here about what the kids do, about where they want to go, and all the research that's going on here, working with my co-instructor, Sandra, and it's just been fun to go learn about everybody else's ideas of, of science and how to really show kids where science can fit into just everyday life. <laughs>